Hi everyone, I'm a little tired right now just cause, well it's late at night and I just got out of the bath, but I should really be playing Splatoon right now cause it just received a new version, version 2.7. Lots of people have been interested in the changes and they want me to cover it uh, right as soon as they come out, but uh, I don't know. It, uh, it's like, it was maintenance when I last checked, so I figured instead I'd check out one of the games that was suggested on my blog and Turns out, the next game is Splatoon 1.5. A much better representation of what some people were expecting from someone who would try to translate Splatoon into 2D. Even though it's called Splatoon 1.5. Anyway, yeah, this is... <laughs> Graphics-wise, it needs lots of work, but it's still impressive. Just looking at it. Like, Miiverse Community. This is such a weird future to put, but... You can leave it there and it's got a bunch of uh, comments from people. Okay, give me one, two, three. Turkey is the best. I, I don't know if this is like real or like pre-made or something. I want to say pre-made. Yeah, I'm going to say pre-made. But still, maybe it is real. Maybe you can actually put, put your own post right there. If you follow the link in the description. Anyway, controls are right here. It's actually described on the instructions on the right anyway. So this is a little pointless, but still. Info is for if you are new to Splatoon, you should read carefully. But well, we already know about this stuff, and we already know about Miiverse. What about Battle Dojo? Oops, not yet. Come back later. So no one versus one. How about Octo Valley? Oops, not yet. Come back later. So no one-player adventure either. However, there's hairstyle, clothing, pants, and shoes. This is interesting because lots of people have been clamoring for a pants shop and a hairstyle shop. So. Some people will probably be interested in this stuff, but there's no hats for some reason. Also, you have to buy your hairstyle. And you start with the Inkling Boy, even though it kind of looks off model. So you have to buy yourself to play as the Inkling Girl. Uh, incidentally, your hairstyle also dictates what kind of ability you have. Strangely enough. There's nothing really special about this stuff. It's fairly basic. Clothing, it's also fairly basic. They're... Not so great. They're all custom made. There's not, also not that many of them. Hmm. No bobble hat, unfortunately. Uh, shoes is fairly self-explanatory as well. There's some boots, fortunately. In fact, the boots are better than the other stuff. Fair enough. And there's also pants, which are a little weird. To be quite frank, I know some people have been <laughs> clamoring for pants but if they looked like this I don't know they don't look fresh if you ask me also the best is like some kind of zebra pants huh well maybe not best I mean it's just def defense up it's not all that great anyway enough explaining about stuff let's go into the lobby got choice between the I don't think this is a 96 cal deco just a 996 cal this is the golden arrow spray got the tent attack or no these are actually completely different weapons like they look similar but they've been given their own like different uh, custom stuff anyway I'm gonna pick the charger because y'all want me to pick the charger and I get to pick my color orange of course and we only play like, against computers unfortunately not against other people so let's start with easy first turf war ink the most turf uh, according to the credits and notes the person making this wants to make a ranked battle mode that would be interesting. Anyway, yeah, you can see me play right here. Uh, charge is a little weird. Uh, if you're low on ink, you just uh, ink form by pressing space and suddenly you're full again. Anyway, yeah, charger has a lot of range and that's great. It's too bad that the area that we're playing is, is so tiny. But representation wise, this is fairly decent. It's very, very clearly better considering it's like a completely white area that we're working on but still this is a lot more like Splatoon that most people would probably expect particularly when it's made on if it's made on scratch because this is made on scratch so that's what it's called yeah it's scratch apparently that's an engine for very beginner people and I can understand why this is also a bit laggy but I'm not sure if that's because of the engine or just poor programming Oh, and I didn't even show my sub or my special. Ah, well. That does not look like Judd. Y'all agree with me, right? 
That is not Judd. That cat looks lame. You know what? I got some cash out of this. That means I can buy myself a new hairstyle. Not the girl hairstyle. Not, not yet, however. I gotta play at least one more match if I want a girl hairstyle. Oh, also... Some people might not care about it, but... You can't change your skin color. That's lame. You also can't change your eye color. That's also lame. Uh, although I think my eye color matches my hair color. Which is a mistake a lot of artists do. Particularly those that work on the uh, SFM engine. I see lots of like ink lanes being placed for pictures and whatever. I don't like it that some people just don't seem to understand that the ink lanes don't necessarily have the same eye color as their tentacle hair color. It just kind of bothers me, you know? Anyway, this is how the roller works. Uh, I think it's one hit and you're splatted. Maybe. It's, it's kind of hard to tell. Anyway, I already, I already got my special. Let, let's see it right here. Wow! It, it comes out instantly! Well, some people thought the roller was broken in the main game, but it clearly wasn't. However, in this fan game, it clearly is. Good grief. Look at this stuff. Uh, I, I don't even think you're invincible when you're inside your uh, uh, base, by the way. Kind of weird. Anyway, here's my sub. Uh, I'm not sure what that was. <laughs> was it like a seeker? I think it was. Yeah, it looks like a seeker. It's pretty overpowered. The computer just can't handle it. This is why you don't can't play against computers inside the uh, in Splatoon, because it'd be way too easy. Boom. Yeah, the killer whale needs to be nerfed in this game. Anyway, $26 again. Let me see if I can actually become a girl now. I am now a girl. Yes. I don't know what you said. Oh. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I guess I'm sort of kind of a girl. Yeah, the graphics are really unappealing. Maybe this should become its own thing. Like, not, like uh, completely distance itself from Splatoon. You know, because it's... Even though it replicates the game kind of well, it's clearly not the same thing, you know? It just clearly isn't. Clearly, quote-unquote. <laughs> it's fun for what it is, and I clearly see potential in this, but as far as... Uh, the person, not the person, the actual game itself uh, becoming a full-fledged one. I don't think it's ever going to get anywhere if it stays stuck at a, as a Splatoon fan game. In a way, Ink Missile is uh, fairly accurate to what it's supposed to be. You basically press the special button and you basically you click where you want the missile to go. Kind of neat. Like, definitely the game, this game's, this fan game's strength is that it replicates the specials and just every attribute from Saturn fairly well for considering how limited this engine is. But it's still limited, and I still can just play Splatoon itself if I really want to. That's, well, that's one of the problems I have with games that replicate the official games. It's like, I likely have the official game itself, so what, what, why would I bother with your fan game? Why would I? Also, it's already over. These matches are really short. As they should be. Okay, if you want to score more points, you pr probably want... Wait, wait. 88? Huh. Okay, so you can't actually lose cash. You only gain it. Uh, also, I can't change back to my girl hairstyle apparently I guess well I did lose some cash here but I think when I'm gonna do another battle it's gonna con it's not gonna, like, gonna restore itself to the complete total again so there's one bug <laughs> well I think I've shown pretty much everything about this game so far okay so this is how you change and you can change your gender here too and you can choose your skin color okay never mind Although, this looks kind of bad. Like, not the actual color. Well, whatever. Whatever the case, you, you actually can choose your skin color and you can choose your gender. It was kind of hard for me to notice that there was an equipment menu right here. Uh, you're supposed to do this stuff when you're starting the game, like the actual game itself. Still, 
It's nice of you to consider that you can actually choose your gender and your skin color. However, you cannot choose your eye color. Get fixing to that. Still, very good job. I, I really I really think this game has potential. It's clearly in the works, but this has potential. And you are talented and I can see you eventually delivering a solid experience if you work hard enough on it. You might want to change engine, however, and start all over. <laughs> well, whatever the case. Link in the description if you guys want to try it out yourself. Hope you've all enjoyed this video and hope you'll have a nice day. Bye-bye.